you ever stop to think about how much of our bodies run on very simple processes? It's amazing to think that the complex and varied functions of our organs and systems are ultimately controlled by a few basic rules, not unlike Conway's game of life. From the firing of neurons to the beating of our hearts, the intricacies of the human body are a testament to the power of an emergent behavior. Conway's game of life is a model of cellular automation created by the British mathematician John Conway in the 70s. It's a fantastic representation of emergence, which is the idea of growth or evolution of more complex complex forms through simple rules. I'm personally a huge fan of the idea of emergence, and I believe it has a lot to do with cracking the problem of AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. That's a video for another day. The rules for Conway's game of life are simple. Number one, any live cell with fewer than two live neighbors dies, as if by underpopulation. Number two, any live cell with two or three live neighbors lives on to the next generation. Three, any live cell with more than three live neighbors dies, as if by overpopulation. Four, any dead cell with exactly three live neighbors becomes a live cell, as if by reproduction. It's important to note here that a cell can either be in one of two states, either alive or dead. What's beautiful about Conway's game of life is that we can get some really complex mechanics off of a few rules. There's three classes of life. Still lifes, which do not change from one generation to the next. Oscillators, which return to their initial state after a finite number of generations. And spaceships, which translates themselves across the grid. Let's get to modeling in Unity. In this section, we initialize the width and height of our array, create the prefab of our cell, and create arrays for our current board iteration and our next board iteration. Additionally, we will create a game objects array, which can be thought of as our view if you're familiar with the model view controller design pattern. Let's do some initialization when the game starts in our start function. We can initialize our present board and our future board with some width and height to be some size and we can also call our init method. Our init method assigns a random value to each board piece indicating if it's alive or dead. We want it to be completely random to begin with. We also don't want any of our edges having a cell initted because we know that it will die regardless. Here's where the magic happens. Here we iterate over all the cells and then iterate through a 3x3 grid around our current iterated cell. After that, we count the number of neighbors that we have. We can then use our four rules of life and see if the cell will be alive or dead on our next iteration of the board. After that, we just draw our board based upon our calculations in the generate method. And finally, we put it all together in our update method that runs once per frame. I also added a listener for when the mouse buttons push down to reinitialize the board. Here's the final product. It's fascinating to see how a few basic rules can create still lifes, oscillators, and even spaceships. By modeling the cellular automation in Unity, we can create our own unique versions of the game and explore endless possibilities of emergent behavior. So go ahead and take a stab at making your own game of life, and thank you for watching.